Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another Bravity M Extras. So as I've mentioned in previous weeks, we are gonna be doing these videos during the week that are just kind of random and don't have a set topic. I'm gonna to save my educational and kind of After Effects streaming, YouTubing stuff for the weekends. And then during the week, if I ever feel like doing any kind of vlogs or fun kinds of videos, we're gonna be doing those on these extra style videos during the week. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Black Magic Pocket 4K, a brand new camera that I've just picked up. So guys, let's go ahead and take a look at unboxing this camera real quick. All right guys, so it is finally time to unbox this camera. I've been waiting to do this forever for you guys. But right away, when we go ahead and just open this box, we are greeted with DaVinci Resolve Pro, the studio version that you have to pay for. Comes free with all cameras. I recommend their free stuff to everybody. There will be a link down in the description if you're looking for a good editor, but this is the pro version. You get it for free. We also get some extra Canon batteries. We get some chargers, but you guys are here for the good stuff, the actual camera that sat here in the bottom. And here it is. We're gonna go ahead and take it out of this foam. It is looking real good already. It feels good, nice weight and bam, here it is. It looks so good. It looks a lot like a DSLR, but I can assure you it is not. Let's go ahead and get this peel here. Looks real good, but it is not a DSLR. It is a cinema camera, and real quick, we're gonna go ahead and put on a Metabones adapter so that we can put some Canon glass on here. This is a Sigma 18 to 35 lens, and it is a perfect partner for this camera. And just like that, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Pocket 4K from Blackmagic. Now, before you guys jump down into the comments, if you guys are also camera savvy and know about the camera world, yes, there is a Pocket 6K, and it is a newer version of this, but after doing a lot of research, I don't want the Pocket 6K. I wanted the Pocket 4K. There's a lot of reasons why I went with this one over the newer 6K, and if I went into it, it'd get really nerdy and heavily uh, camera talky there for a while, and I don't want to subject you guys to that. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some test footage with this guy. Now, I just kind of went out and just quickly run and gun, just saw, shot some random stuff just to see what the image would look like out of this camera. In the future, I'm going to do more setup and stylize and just a real test to see what this camera can actually do, but I just figured I'd shoot something nice and quick just to see what the image image out of this camera would look like. Right, guys and there was the test footage for the black magic pocket 4k i hope you guys are excited as i am for the image that this thing can pull i'm really excited to see what i can do with it filming some awesome films and whatnot now a lot of you might know that i actually shoot all of my videos on the canon c200 which is also a cinema camera and i did not sell this i'm not getting rid of this and i'm not going to stop filming my youtube videos on this this is a really good camera for me to use for youtube this is more specifically geared towards shooting actual films this isn't a run and gun thing this isn't a vlog camera. There's no autofocus. There's nothing like that. The screen doesn't flip out so you can film yourself. This is not a YouTube camera. So if you guys are looking for a YouTube camera to start your YouTube career, I would steer clear of this. This is not a first time camera for someone that's just wanting to make YouTube videos. It is a cinema camera and you got to treat it that way. It's a little bit harder to get a nice image out of it because there's no like auto settings. You have to know what you're doing. But when you do know what you're doing, you can get unbelievably incredible images that you would see on a big screen out of a small little camera just like this. And I'm super excited to see what I can do with it. I'm definitely gonna post more footage to the channel in these extra videos. But guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you do enjoy these extra videos where we just kind of unbox and take a look at stuff and do a bunch of random fun things that are a little bit less structured than my videos on the weekends, then let me know down in the comments and make sure you drop a like on this video. I'm really excited to show you guys some more footage from this. Maybe on this extra channel, we'll go out and we'll shoot some really cool stuff with this. Maybe shoot a film or two and I'll post the results of what we get on the extras videos during the week but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one Bye.